Over the course of the last month or so, Fox News has been running wall-to-wall -wall coverage, basically suggesting that the LGBTQ plus community is a bunch of groomers, they're predators, they want to prey on your children. But little did Fox News know that they have a predator in their midst who is unrepented and admitted this on television and laughed about being a predator. Take a look. When I was trying to get Emma to date me, yeah. <laughs> uh, first thing I did, I uh, let the air out of her tires. <laughs> She couldn't go anywhere. She needed a lift. I said, hey, you need a lift? She copped right does in the car. Does she know this story? No, she doesn't know the story. <laughs> does she now watch the show? She does. The Jesse, does she Jesse Jr. does show? You're basically the Zodiac killer. <laughs> <laughs> it has a happy ending. Really? Oh, yes, we're married. Oh did you really do that? Is that the <laughs> first time you did it, or did you use that before? Uh, it works like a charm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford joins us. You can tell that Judge Janine Pirro was genuinely uncomfortable right there. And I don't blame her because as ghoulish and cringeworthy as she can be, she's at least self-aware enough to know that that right there is not okay. And his wife didn't even know that he did this. So he kept this from her for years, potentially, however long they've been married. And he thinks that this is okay. It's okay because uh, there's a happy ending. They got married. Okay, well, if you abduct someone and you keep them as a captive for years against their will, but eventually they warm up to you and they begin to like you and you eventually get married, do you call that a happy ending? Because I would call that Stockholm Syndrome. This is not okay. This is absolutely the definition of predatory behavior. It's manipulative and he laughs it off and basically implies that he's done this multiple times with other women. Imagine if um, this was a gay man who was admitting this. Yeah, I let the air out of this guy's tires who I thought was cute. Fox News would run wall-to-wall -wall coverage about how this is evidence that all gay men are predators. But on the network that's supposedly anti-predator, you have one of your own hosts talking about how he let the air out of the tires of one of your employees, one of his colleagues, in order to lure her into his vehicle. That is insanely creepy. Insanely creepy. And to make matters worse, as this Daily Mail headline points out, Fox News host Jesse Waters, 41, shares photo from his wedding to former producer, 27, he had an affair with while married to his first wife. So while he was preying on this co-worker of his, he was still married. So that adds to how trifling he is as a human being, how deceitful he is as a human being. Now, perhaps, you know, if you're an older person who watches Fox News religiously, you think, oh, well, this is fine. That's normal. I would do something like that. That's not normal, first and foremost. That's incredibly wrong and creepy on so many levels. So many levels. If I were his wife, I don't know that I would be able to view the relationship the same way because it was started by him preying on her. But nonetheless, if you think that's okay, still acknowledge the fact that he didn't fess up to his wife all this time. So at a minimum, he's deceitful and he's admitting that. And this is supposed to be a serious news person who delivers the news to you. If he lies about that... Something so intimate, of course, he has an easy time lying about other things. So perhaps you should think, wow, maybe he's lying about the news that he talks about. Maybe the way that he, you know, uh, talks about these news stories that I listen to, maybe he's manipulative there as well. Maybe he's not telling us all of the details. Isn't this a violation of trust, not just for his wife, but to the viewers as well, to basically admit that he's a liar? I mean, I don't think the viewers will care when Fox News uh, or, or when um, Tucker Carlson went on Dave Rubin's show and admitted that he lies. Um, I don't think they cared at all. Yeah, sure. It's fine. Somebody who's a serious news person lying to me, perfectly fine. I still trust them. Okay, I don't know how to even react to that. You should not trust them if they are a proven liar, but still, you know, here we are. Now, as Ari Drennan points out, these are the people who lie and tell your parents and grandparents every day that LGBTQ people are predators. And that really, to me, is what makes this story that much more ridiculous. He didn't even have the decency to wait until Fox News ended their hate campaign against LGBTQ plus people. Just in the middle of their hate campaign he's like yeah I'm, I'm actually i think predators are bad uh except when i do it then it's it perfectly you know it, it's acceptable if i do it i mean wow wow and to laugh it off and say it works like a charm un
real. So, I mean, Fox News, if they're really against predators, you would think that they would fire Jesse Waters immediately, especially considering the way that he preyed on one of their employees at the time. I mean, is he going to do this again? Is he going to prey on a new co-worker while he's married to his current wife? That's what he did before. I just, I don't know what to say. What if they choose to not get in your car or they reject your advances? We don't know the extent of his predatory behavior and how far this can go. Is he actually a danger? It seems like he is to his colleagues. But the anti-predator network is, uh, I guess, protecting and harboring a predator and they're okay with that. Yeah, so unless Fox News fires Jesse Waters, then you have to not take anything they say about predators seriously because they're okay with predators if they keep someone there who admits that he preyed on one of their coworkers or one of their employees, one of his coworkers. Just so vile, so gross on so many levels. And if I were his wife, I would definitely rethink this relationship given how that's the way it got started and he thinks it's funny and he never told you unreal